I think there was a relatively not good communication right from the beginning. There should be an engagement with the key shareholders. Of course, that couldn't have included the individual bond holders because they, they don't have any association. But they could have used some general media to reach as many as possible to explain what this unusual phenomena is. The third is that I, I sometimes get angry that there's not deep cut in government expenditure. There's a need to raise revenue, but you can't do it overnight. You know, you, uh, there's a limit to which you can raise revenue over, uh, above a certain limit. So these factors have come in. And then I think that, but the most important thing is that the average Ghanaian, be it a banker, the workers, the pensioners, the individual bondholders, think that somehow, kind of what has a magic we can go through without anybody making a sacrifice. The question is that we have a little window, and beyond that one, all of us who pay a heavy price of inflation going haywire, three digits, devaluation could be 30 and above, and everybody will pay the price anyway, except that it will not be an orderly one. It will be a disorderly one. And our society may be in danger. And I think that the average people whether it's trade union, pensioners, it was, I mean, pension fund managers, banks. That, I don't see that one. Everybody thinks that they can.